fish body oils great for our pet skin and fur also great for pain and inflammation they normally come in a couple of different ways the liquid can we can squirt directly on their food but unfortunately some of the liquid kinds come with preservatives that may or may not be good for our dogs I prefer the capsule types but how do we administer those some dogs take it just like it's a treat Some dogs puncture and lick, puncture and lick, sometimes making a mess on the carpet. And some dogs just refuse to eat them. Some people like to poke the capsule with a tack or a needle, but sometimes that makes the Content squirt in different directions. I prefer clipping the end off with a pair of scissors And notice how I squirted into this spoon Now normally we put it onto their food, but if you happen to be given a capsule without food You can just let the dog lick the spoon Now the disadvantage to cutting it is you normally get some of the oil on your fingers and some of the oil kind of stays in the capsule as well. Another thing you could do is just put the capsule in water and I put this in about a minute ago. It hasn't melted yet but it usually melts probably in about five minutes. We're going to check up on this at the end of the video and see how it looks. Well, it took a little longer than I thought. After about 10 minutes the outer coating was getting much softer. And now it's been about an hour and you can see this getting even softer still. So it might be a little while long before it actually melts, but you can see how squishy it is. I can actually squish out everything. I think most of the contents are already out in the water by now. But after a while, the actual shell will actually melt as well. And warm water probably would have sped up the process. Pick the piece up here just to give you an idea of what the coating looks like now.